here's a challenge for you medical students watching YouTube and hopefully somebody can give me some insight because the last neurologist I saw wasn't very helpful to me and I'd like to at least have some idea to bring up to my doctor what's going on um, well here's what's going on my vision will go it's like somebody turns on a dimmer switch and it goes from being normal to gray and then it'll, it'll just go black just totally black and oftentimes I pass out and when I don't pass out and it comes back to being normal then my eyes will twitch and I get really confused like I don't know what's going on I just get really confused and if somebody tries to talk to me I can't speak and I can't answer them and oftentimes I get really really sleepy just for no reason at all even if I've had good night's sleep I'll get really sleepy and if I'm holding something I'll drop it and just fall asleep repeatedly it's kinda hard to explain it but just it's like I just fall asleep and I've been told I don't have narcolepsy so I've been checked for that But the main thing is the vision going from being normal to graying like somebody turning a dimmer switch and making it black and then I get really really confused and I just I don't know what's going on and I can't talk no matter how much I try to talk to somebody and most of the time I just I black out or I pass out or I fall into the sleep which lasts just for a few minutes and I wake up but if I'm holding something I'll drop it I can't hang on to it so if anybody has any idea what's going on please send me a message or post a comment because I'm getting really scared with all this stuff back in 2010 I did have a, a bad head injury I didn't go to the ER for. I was mugged and my head was slammed into a brick building and I never did get a CAT scan or anything so I don't know what's going on. So there's a good challenge for you medical students and something I can bring up to my family doctor next time I see him. I do have a birth defect called a genesis of the corpus callosum and mild hydrocephalus but I've never had this problem until my head injury of 2010 so thanks for watching